Man. <laughs> We're ready to go whenever you want. Um, my name is Ben Frederick. And Ben, how old are you? I am 29 years young. 29 years young, I love that. Yeah, I, I feel like I owe it to the Walden family uh, to be here to try to share my story, to try to help other people, because without you guys, I wouldn't, I literally would not be here right now. So I had a, a dream, desire, goal to race my bicycle at the highest level. Everything in my life was focused towards trying to be the best cyclist that I could be. I was able to get into the top 10 at these national races. And then, okay, not only am I getting in the top 10, I'm actually racing at the front of these races. At that point in my life, I was prepared to go to the next level. Everything was pointed in the correct direction. Two weeks before the opening race of the season, I had an accident, but the way I fell uh, gave me a severe concussion that lasted almost a year and a half. Um, I had to spend over, over three months basically in a dark room, um, walking minimally, no lights, no noise. Um, I'm getting sad and frustrated that I can't ride my bike. Like I can't even leave the house without getting nauseous and dizzy. And the, the chemical and physical changes in my brain really turned up some depression and anxiety. That's where food stuff started to become a challenge. I didn't see the, the drastic changes that my body had made over time. I wasn't trying to lose weight, I was just scared of gaining weight. Like I didn't want to lose ground and my body was changing in ways that met an aesthetic that wasn't what my body can support, but was one that was projected by professional athletes and professional cyclists especially. Due to a lot of friends' push, they were really concerned about me losing weight. I kept throwing back facts, like, I'm fine. If, if it was an issue, then I couldn't do this. If it was an issue, then I would be presenting these symptoms, but I'm not, so step off. To try to silence my friends and get them off my back, I, I went and got a, a body composition test and was pretty shocked to find out that my body fat was at a critically low level. I couldn't unsee those numbers and I also couldn't change them. Realizing that I couldn't do this uh, is what got me to call, uh, to call Walden. With my heels digging into the ground, I started taking steps. Through help with my dietitian there and my counselors, we were able to, to turn that athlete brain on and go, okay, well, if we're gonna do it, we might as well do it the best that you can. And so I committed completely to every step that Walden could offer. The joy that I get to experience now, the ups and downs of life, the, the quality of, of an existence that I didn't even know is possible, even before my brain injury now are manifesting. A really big marker for me was when I started laughing again. Um, that was something I lost that the disorder took away from me. And so it's not even about these grandiose things like racing my bike again. Like I can laugh. I can just get in the van with friends and not worry about packing a cooler of the right foods. I can just like trust that, yep, food's gonna happen and I know that I'm gonna make the right choices and decisions to be able to, to fuel these awesome experiences and I can be present for those experiences. I'm also able to navigate sadness and work through depression and, and deal with a lot of heavy stuff in life but facing it head on and not hiding from it, and not numbing out, and not using behaviors to, to avoid. There's so many cheesy things that one could say, like, just take the first step, and then the rest will follow. But it's true. The only way forward is taking a step. Once you start there, there is support here at Walden, and in the, in, in the community to help you take the next, and the next. And then, next thing you know, you're running free.